Really nailed it, mate. Watch out, will ya? Sorry! Stupid bloody game. Want me to show you how it's done? There's no way you'd get anywhere near the green, Wally. Want a bet? How much? I want in on this. Smart. It'd be my pleasure to take your money, Simo. 50 bucks says he hits the green. I'm good for 50. I'll happily take money off of both of you. I'll even give you a 10 foot buffer. Sweet. <laughs> Money for jam. Keep your head still, mate. Oh, nice try, mate. Just trying to help. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice <laughs> Oi! You said 10 feet. Mark it out, Walt! Mark it. Ten feet exactly! Yes! Look, it's got to be inside ten feet, not on ten feet. Oh, Graham, you said ten feet. Well, did you measure from the front or the back of the ball? Oh, you're stretching, mate. Mate, ten's ten. Oh, you guys are killing me. We should make a bunker. Great idea. Great, go get the mini digger. Sweet. Well, come on, hurry up. We've got to do it before Jerry gets back. I'll mark it out. Mate. How deep should we make it, Wal? Well, we don't want to make it impossible. Maybe half a foot. Then we can fill it with dirt. We should go to the beach on the way home. Fill the ute full of sand. You're a genius. Mate, as long as we're inside the fence line, we'll be safe. That's it, mate. Good stuff. Yep, that's good. Did anybody check with Di before you dig? Well, it was inside the fence line. I thought it was safe. What the hell were you blokes thinking? What were you doing anyway? Making a bunker. A bunker? What are you talking about? It's no big deal, Jerry. We we're just trying to make a better golf hole. Plus, we've got the side tournament on Friday, so... Yeah. No big deal. You've damaged Telstra cables and shut down communications to the whole suburb. Why the hell didn't you call Dial before you dig? Well, we didn't dig that deep, and I didn't realise there were cables there. Pipes and cables are everywhere. You don't need to be digging deep to damage assets. You blokes know that, but Telstra cables can be at any depth. Bloody hell, how easy is it? You contact Dole before you dig. If there's Telstra cables on site, you get a professional located to come out and find them, and you only dig when it's safe to go. Yeah, you, you can lodge online, uh, you can use your mobile, and, and if you can't manage that, mate, you can ring them. <laughs> well, if you know all that, why didn't you check? Yeah. Apart from stopping communications to the whole suburb, do you know what trouble you've caused? Well, I'd say the golf tournament's at risk. Oh, oh, don't be smart. I thought the site was cleared. The site was cleared, but you must have gone outside the boundary. We dug inside the fence line, so I thought it was safe. You can't trust the fence lines as a gauge. Those lines get moved all the time. Yeah, well, how are we supposed to know that? What are we supposed to call Dolby for your dig? Well, now we've got no Dolby for your dig job number. 
Nothing to show that we've followed duty of care. They stopped the work site for an investigation. It's, it's probably going to be fines, a stop work notice. You put the whole contract in jeopardy. You must all go home. What? Oh, 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 oh my shit. No, you're suspended. Suspended until this is sorted out. It's not like we can do any work now anyway. Can we come tomorrow for the tournament? Get out. Well, as you can see, Jerry is now contacting Doll before you dig. Sadly for Jerry, it's all a little bit too late. You see, the boys thought, because they were not digging that deep, and they were digging inside what they thought was the fence line, they'd be safe from doing any damage to any underground assets. Assets like Telstra cables. As a result, they wiped out the phone and internet in the entire area. And as Jerry has pointed out, they're now going to face the cost of fixing the damage and a loss of work time on site, and they're in danger of further fines and further stop work orders. So whether it's for work or even just for fun like the boys here, when we're doing any kind of excavation or digging, it's vital that we follow the duty of care requirements of the asset owners. Always lodge a dial before your dig inquiry at least two days before any digging commences. Read all the information that comes back from the asset owner, including the duty of care statements. Organise for a professional locator to come on site if there are Telstra cables present. This is a requirement at Telstra and failure to do so may have serious implications in the event that you do damage their asset. Always follow the four P's. Plan, pothole, protect, proceed. And remember, fence lines might have moved over the years so they should not be used as an exact guide. So be sure to protect yourself. There are physical and financial risks when excavating, and insurers may not cover all the costs of repairing asset damage if you have not followed the correct procedures in identifying the presence of underground assets. And remember, if you do take out communications, there could be additional costs that will be recovered from you, like the loss of revenue from affected businesses. So always contact Dial before you dig. It's quick, it's free, you can do it on your mobile or you can do it online.